Hey y'all, so I wanted to do another um, tutorial for you and show you how I do my cowl. My cowl is one of my most popular shapes and um, I do a spotted cowl, so it's a little bit different. Um, so I'll go ahead and get started and show you. I think that's good. All right, so I am using um, Coffee House scented beads. What I start first with is I fill just the ears because I do my ears a different color. And then I'll throw in a little bit of extra just because for my spots, I wanna make sure I have enough um, beads to do the spots. So I'm gonna throw that into this jar and I am gonna use mica powders for this. If I'm doing a black cow, I use um, my liquid. So this one is chestnut. And these, once again, I got off Amazon. I'm still waiting on my Mad Mica order to come in, so I'm excited to try those. Um, I got an email, I think today, saying it shipped. So hopefully it'll be here in a couple days and I can try those out. But this cow is going to be um, brown. So, well, white with brown spots. Kind of just put my finger where I think the nose is gonna be and I just throw in a little bit of beads. And I don't normally use this measuring cup, so I'm a little off. I normally have my jars. So it's a little bit different with my jars. But this one's gonna be pink, so I'm going to throw it in here. And this color that I'm using is peach. So I'm just gonna do a tiny, tiny bit. There's not a lot of beads in there at all. So I'm just gonna throw in just a little bit. All right, now the rest of this cow is gonna be white. So I'm just gonna kind of fill in. I normally end up going just a little over with this just because it's hard to measure it, but this one I'm going to put with white mica powder. Um,
So I am going to go and pop this in over there. How long do you cook freshies for? So for me, sorry, did I get the camera? Okay, for me, I have noticed that in my toaster oven, I go eight minutes, 10 if I haven't heated it up before. Normally I try and um, go ahead and turn it on for 10 or 15 minutes and get it warm, and then it's only eight minutes. If I use my big oven, it is easily 10 minutes, if not maybe 12. Um, but there is also a difference between mica powders and liquid. So mica powders tend to take a little bit longer to cook than liquid. So that's something you have to watch. And this part, it, eight minutes is my magic number and it's taken me a while to find that number. Um, and it's heated at 350. So I've tried the 325 for, you know, 10 minutes or whatever. For me, the golden number is 350, eight minutes. And another one that's really popular for me is my horse head. And this one, I like it's not near as in-depth as that one so this one I decorate at the end with um, puff paint so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it up and this is another one that's very popular dump this in here and then I am going to grab my liquid dye and it is ivory it is from candle science and I love candle science they are extremely expensive on their shipping, but they ship very fast, so it's kind of hard to complain, but they are definitely not the cheapest, and then the candle dye, you're going to get dye on your hands. There's, the way I decorate it is I put, I take black puff paint and I draw, I'm not a horse person, y'all, I don't know the names, I draw the, the nose on, the eyes, and the thing, the straps, I don't know what the straps are called, but I draw those on there. And it turns out super cute. So this one is done until after it bakes. And I always do the roll pins until I hit the metal. So this one's good. I'm just going to push it to the side until my cow is ready. The latte with the Starbucks lid. I'm very fortunate that my best friend likes these. So she always saves me her lids and so I can use them. So, and then occasionally my husband will grab some and bring them to me too. That's what it's gonna look like. Okay, so, and I'm gonna dump some in here. And I just use one or two drops. You don't need much. And it is all over me. Now here is where I had still had some white mica left from the cow that I didn't use. So I'm going to throw this in with that. And then I will add in just a little bit more mica. And um, if you didn't see the other video, these things came in little Ziploc bags and it was a nightmare to keep up with and um, make sure the bags didn't rip or whatever. So. I took them and I got these at Walmart and these are like little lip gloss containers. They come in uh, 24 packs so they come really nice and it has like a lid with it. So I got a couple of those and I dumped them in the jars. So it made a huge mess. Don't think it's not going to. It's going to make a big mess but I like it better. It's easier to deal with. It's easier to use compared to um, the bags.
my baby, my three-year-old. She probably getting ready, hungry, ready for dinner, asking what I'm cooking. So, all right, so I went ahead and pulled the cow out. I'm going to let it cool for a few minutes. And while it cools, I put my horse in. I normally try to do, you know, more than one at a time, but it's just not working that way tonight with the way the evening's going. So tonight I'm baking one at a time. And what I found is like, I don't know, it goes both ways. If I make four of them and put two trays in, that's about how many trays I can fit in the oven. Then it takes me like 20 minutes or something, 30 minutes. And in that time I could be baking others. So I just tend to have a continual amount going in and out of the oven. And then I also found like sometimes if I put two trays in, it's like it doesn't cook thoroughly like all the way through the same as it does when it's just the one tray by itself. way over underestimated we'll see um the amount that was in the cup was a little bit shy of eight ounces which is a half pound so i was easily able to get three freshies out of the eight ounces normally i get four but i happen to pick three freshies that are bigger so I try to do about two ounces of freshie. It doesn't always work that way, but normally I get about anywhere from four to six freshies um, for a half pound, eight ounces, just depending on how big the shape is and what I'm doing. So I did end up, there we go, all right, okay, now I'm not going to fill the brown part as full as I would if this wasn't going in it, because as soon as I start pushing this in, it's going to kind of pop it up. So I just make sure it's covered. is my Starbucks freshie and I'm gonna put the roll pin in here too um, these come in I want to say a box of 25 so it's nice it works so I'm just gonna wait for you want to make sure that it's still beady looking and it is so it's good you don't want it to get too smooth if it's too smooth it's not gonna um, hold the scent as well like you overcooked it so what I do after this is I once it cools and it dries, I glue a sunflower on it. Um, the sunflowers, let me see. The sunflowers I got from Amazon. So I love these. I use these on my cow. And pretty much anything I have to do with the flower, I like sunflowers, so I put them on. Um, the only other thing I wanted to show y'all that was super awesome is my hot glue gun. So when I decided to get a new hot glue gun. I got one that is cordless. So it is absolutely amazing, y'all. Cordless, no cord. It takes, hold it for like two seconds. The red light comes on and then watch how quick it goes green. It's like seven seconds, I think, and it's green and then it is ready to use. So I love it. And then what I really like about it is that so of course now it's not going to do it that I'm waiting for it. There it goes. Okay. So super quick. So what's really nice is it only stays on a minute or two and then it will kick itself off. So I think if you don't, like if it's not being used, it kicks itself off, which is really nice because my last one, I kind of left on for maybe two or three weeks. And when I unplugged it, it never plugged back in. 
so it never would heat back up. So I like this because my husband is always getting on to me for, you're gonna burn the house down, and now I don't have to worry about it. So it automatically turns itself off, but what I'll do when I'm done is I will pop this little sunflower on him and I will decorate my horse. So I will catch up with you in a few minutes once everything gets out of the oven. Okay, so they have um, all baked, so I am going to show you. Sorry, you'll hear my kids screaming in the background because they think we live in like a barn or something. Okay, so these are the three cutters. Okay, the three um, freshies. So I'm just gonna pop them out. And once again, I really like the roll pins. It just makes the, um, like, I'm not sure if you can see that hole. It is, like, absolutely perfect. So that's why I love them. Okay. So, my cow, this thing turned off, so I'm going to hold it for a second, turn it back on. I'll put the link to this um, down below in the, um, in the description, too, because I'm telling you, this thing is amazing, and it was only, like, $19.99, I think. It was not expensive at all. But my favorite part is that it is cordless. It is amazing. So nice not have to, not having to be stuck to a outlet. So I'm just gonna put like a dab of hot glue on there. Hot glue that baby on. Okay, so my cow is done besides a string. My, um, losing my train of thought. My Starbucks is done besides the string. So my horse. Let me see if I can get this in. This one, I use the puff paint, the tulip puff, puffy paint, and I just got this from Michael's. So, um, I always do my horses with this just because I like the way it looks. It gives it just something extra. And like I said, I am not a horse person. So if you are, I'm sorry. I don't know what this stuff is called. I put the nose in, I put the eye. Okay, and then I take it up. So, not sure what it's called. Um, I know the piece in the mouth is a bit, but that's about as much as I know. And then I like to put hair on them. I just like the way the hair looks. And so people don't tend to be big fans of um, flowers on this dude, so I am not going to put a flower on it. I'm not sure why, but I've never had anybody on Etsy um, order with the flower or anybody just in general who's ordered it. So there is my horse. It'll take just a couple hours to dry, and then I will package it up, and it is done. So... Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please throw them in the comments below. If you have a tutorial you want me to do, something you want to see, if I know how to do it, I will attempt it and see how it goes. Um, if you think about it, hit subscribe. So help build my channel up a little and let me know what y'all think and want to see. Thanks. See you next time.